Scripture isn't always straightforward and easy to understand, but God helps us see what it all means. Hi, I'm Kathy McGill. Today, let's look at Psalm 91, verses 9 through 11. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord Jesus Christ, open the ears and eyes of my heart that I may hear your words and understand them and fulfill your will. Amen. Because you have the Lord for your refuge and have made the Most High your stronghold, no evil shall befall you, no affliction come near your tent. For he commands his angels with regard to you to guard you wherever you go. When I first read this, it seemed like a bunch of nonsense to me. I strive to make the Lord my refuge and my stronghold, but I'll tell you what, evil still befalls me, and I suffer afflictions. And worse than that, our Lord and His humanity face the worst evil of all. Of course, Scripture isn't nonsense. Did I just sin calling Scripture nonsense? The answer, as always, lies in the Word itself. The psalmist sings, no affliction shall come near your tent. The Hebrew word here is literally tabernacle, which can mean dwelling as a tent, but it is often has a more deeper meaning, a more spiritual meaning. The tabernacle in sacred scripture was the place where the Lord himself dwelt, just as it is in our churches today. As individuals, our tabernacle is our inner being, our heart, our soul, where our Lord dwells. The psalmist is saying that when the Lord is our refuge, our stronghold, no matter what happens in the physical world, evil, afflictions, nothing will come near our tabernacle. Nothing will shake our relationship and the indwelling of the Lord in our heart, in our soul. That is great consolation. No matter how afraid I am, no matter what struggle I face, the angels will guard the most sacred place where the Lord dwells in my heart. Thank you, Lord, for your grace and compassion, most especially in times of trial. May God's peace be with you. Won't you help me spread the good news? Like or share this video. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.